Yuri, you're back. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So, you gonna take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job, but we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. <laughs> you, you said it! You even did the voice! Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me! You made it weird. Let's go, we've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider Cop surveys the city. Placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? You have just helped enforce the great meme known as Spider Cop. Our hero's back. Even Yuri is admitting how great it is. And hey everybody, welcome back to more Marvel Spider-Man. Last time, we finished the game. We beat up Doc Ock. He's gone to jail. Aunt May is dead, unfortunately. And now, uh, we have some side missions to do. Because I didn't cover these in the main, or the main LP, so they're going to be basically mainly uh, for the like two bonus episodes I'm gonna do and then we're gonna start the Pope Rampos game the DLC but in today's episode we're actually gonna be covering the tombstone so tombstone I am already missing up my words uh, side mission I just wanted to show fighting these guys because I thought you know we haven't seen any action in this game for a while clearly from the gameplay I am rusty because I hadn't played this game for like a few months and yeah it happens as you probably have noticed we are wearing a different suit from the last episode, because last episode was the finale we wore the uh, anti-ox suit. But this time we're wearing a new suit. This is the upgraded suit. This is actually a free suit that got added when Spider-Man Far From Home came out, because the, as I kind of just mentioned there, Far From Home, uh, this suit made its debut in Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm gonna talk spoilers a little bit, Far From Home's been out for a while, so I don't really feel as bad talking about it. As I would if I did this like, right after the LP finished. It's on Blu-ray. Go watch it. Uh, it's a good movie. Uh, this suit obviously was designed by Peter in the film when he's trying to fight, spoilers, Mysterio. Because Mysterio, spoilers, is a bad guy. Um, this suit is partially based on the Stark suit from past MCU films. And it does not have its own suit power. I actually really like this suit a lot. Um... It's definitely, I definitely prefer the Stark suit, because I like the color scheme, but I like the red and black. It looks more kind of like a winter suit. I don't know why it makes me think winter, but it does for some reason. But yeah, I, I really like this suit a lot. I like all of the uh, MCU Spider-Man suits, I have to say. They're all pretty nice. I really While like I'm them. here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. But yeah, I'm a big fan. We don't, I mean, we're going to see throughout the rest of this part, but... I really like that suit a lot. I really just like Far From Home. It was a really good Spider-Man movie. Probably my third favorite, I'd say. If I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments. So we have to do a quick um, puzzle. Uh, these still remind me of Ratchet and Clank every time I see these. I think it's just gonna like Ratchet and Clank always has mini games where you have to. Well, the first two that I've played, I've only played one and two. Let me add on to that. But they always had these little like hacking mini games, and they remind me of these a lot. Um, I still want to play the third game, and I have the remake. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I want to LP a Ratchet and Clank game one of these days. I just I want to play more of them, and I'm also really not that great at Ratchet and Clank, which probably would make it funny. But still, um. As I mentioned before, this episode is mainly about Tombstone, so we're going to go after him. Uh, I will talk about Tombstone when we get to him. This part is just the side mission alone. This is definitely out of the two... I don't want to say main side missions, but these pretty much are the main two that I think you should do. Um, this one's by far the best one. It's like a decent amount of length, and Tombstone... You get act Well, spoilers for the rest of the part. You get a boss fight with Tombstone, which is awesome. Um, the other side mission featuring a villain isn't as cool. I'm gonna show it just because it leads into something for the DLC, but yeah, uh, we'll get to that next time, but not a big fan. I am really bad at this, uh, puzzle. I don't know why. I just, I usually didn't have that much trouble, I feel like, doing these puzzles, but this one in particular always throws me off for some weird reason, and I don't know why, um... So I'm just going to spoil it. Now, I'm going to skip this. 
Uh, because why not? You know. Why don't you do it. Time for a test run. So yeah, we're actually gonna head after um, some intel on Tombstone because you know he's a bad guy. Hey, just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Permeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. So yeah, I mean, we're gonna see before the end of the part, but Tombstone's a big deal. He's definitely, um, he's a Spider-Man villain who I do like, but he's one that I, I mean, he's probably cause he's not as, like, well-known, or, like, as marketable, that's probably the best thing, as, like, Green Goblin or Dr. Octopus, but he is a pretty cool villain. Uh, I remember seeing him a lot in Spectacular uh, Spider-Man and the animated series. Spectacular is probably the one I feel like he's the most uh, invested in. Invested in, that's not the word, but he's the one I, I remember him more from Spectacular than I do in the 90s show. Um, so yeah, uh, I really, I just love Spectacular Spider-Man. I keep going over this in the LP, but I feel like since we're wearing the Far From Home suit, I will talk about Far From Home, uh, because why not? Because a lot has happened uh, since I finished the LP. Um, Elephant in the room. Spider-Man left the MCU, then joined back because Disney and Sony were fighting. It was more of a, or, yeah, it was more of a Disney thing. They were wanting more money, and I get why Sony. You know, it, it sucks. Spider-Man wasn't at one point gonna be in the MCU. We still know how long he'll be in, and I think he'll be in it for a long time, personally. But yeah, definitely the elephant in the room. Um, I am glad he's back because Far From Home ended spoilers on a cliffhanger. So I'm glad they at least saved him for it. There. That truck. Out for a Sunday drive? Oh, that animation's still so good. But yeah, I love Far From Home. Uh, I, I'm just glad that he's in it. Because I feel like... I still want... I think they should do at least one more movie, which they are going to do. I really do think Kraven is going to be the villain. I just really think this. I don't know why. Just a gut feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that we're gonna get one more movie. Uh, obviously they said they're gonna do a, uh, tie-in or something. Somehow, Peter's gonna meet Tom Hardy's Venom. I still haven't watched Venom. I probably should one of these days. But, um, yeah, I'm interested in how all that's gonna work. I would be fine personally, and this is what I think they should do. And it, it may be weird, I don't know how they pull it off, but if he could just be in both, why not have him be in the MCU down. and he can fight Venom? I want to see Spider-Man fight Venom in an actual good movie, and I like Spider-Man 3, so take it as you will. Uh, chemical containers. But they're scrubbed clean. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal. Definitely dangerous. If it wasn't Tombstone, I can think of one other man who did it by the name of Heisenberg. I have been watching Breaking Bad recently. It, I, it's on my mind. Uh, it's a very good show. Uh, I remember when that show was first coming out. So particularly the last season, that's all people talked about was that and Walking Dead. And I was like, eh, I don't really want to watch it. And now I'm like, why did I not watch this show back in the day? It's so good. Um, currently on season three, I'm really enjoying it. Please don't post spoilers in the comments, because I'm really enjoying the show. But yeah, um, going back to Far From Home, I really love Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. He does such a good job. Jake Gyllenhaal in general is just awesome. And here's something I haven't shown off yet. So when you can do fast travel to the police stations, and when you do it, you'll get a special little loading screen, like this, where Spider-Man's sitting in the subway, you know, listening to music, bumping his head and stuff. I like it a lot. Um, there are different little loading screens you can get for this. I won't show all of them, because it's just one of those things, why not? But if I do have the chance to show them, I'll show them. Um, there's one in particular where he's standing next to a guy in a Spider-Man suit that's pretty funny as well. My friends, the Rhino and the Scorpion are back behind bars. But only after wreaking unimaginable havoc in a reckless rampage with Spider-Man. Hopefully, they'll never see daylight. But we need to be ready if they do. Normal humans can't stand against the likes of the Rhino. So, here's my proposal. You've heard of police dogs, right? Now bear with me. We train, outfit, and deploy police rhinoceroses. You got a rhino? 
We got a rhino too, baby! Baby. Um, but yeah, uh, police rhinoceroses are kind of a weird idea, but you know what, I like it. So, <laughs> I just have this mental image, actually, of a policeman. Instead of riding a cop car, he is riding on top of a rhino. I think that's awesome. I don't know why. I just do. I just like it a lot. So, right now we have a stealth section. Um, we've seen a million of these by now. Uh, we're basically just fighting Tombstone's goons. You can obviously, if you want to, you can just run down and attack the guys. I figure, you know what? I haven't played this game in a while. I'm actually just going to stealth the majority of these guys. I should have worn, um, the, well, the other new suit in this update, and that's the stealth suit. Uh, we'll see that in the next episode, because it's also from Far From Home. I'm sure if you've watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah. I guess if we are talking about, um, because I, I mentioned potentially uh, the Tom Holland trilogy being over for the next movie. Um, I don't want them to adapt, like, or not adapt, but do another Spider Man trilogy. If they do, I, it should be for a long time because I love Tom Holland as Spider Man. He's easily the best Spider Man. Uh, his portrayal, I can get in that here in a minute, but, like, his acting and how he. The character is written is by far the best. And by that I mean, like, in terms of, like, quips, and he actually feels like Spider-Man, uh, and he does a good job as him. Nothing against Toby and Andrew Garfield. They are good. The issue I have with them, and as I brought up before, Toby is a good Peter Parker, but he's not a believable Spider-Man. I don't feel like he quips enough. He's kind of a little too, like, dorky, as weird as that sounds, because he's Spider-Man. And Andrew Garfield is too handsome, but he's a really good Spider-Man, so, yeah. Uh, but that's mainly my issue. I feel like Tom Holland gets the perfect in the middle for both of them, and that's what works best for him. Obviously, uh, Far From Home kind of brought up the point he is kind of like an Iron Man Jr., and I, it's something I... They kind of... They they bring that up, and I, it's something I think they are moving away from, thank God. And especially, that was the one thing if they were going to do the Sony... It's only owned by Sony and ignore all the MCU stuff. That was one thing I was like, I can actually am happy about that, because I didn't mind it for Homecoming... I tol well, I minded if I tolerated it, because I feel like it's one of the things they're going to get rid of eventually. And uh, Far From Home is one of the things that kind of gets away from it, it's sort of, until he makes this suit, and then it's kind of like, oh, he's like Iron Man. I personally prefer when he makes his own suits, and I think it's something I think they are going to do in the future. Um, obviously, they're going to have to if he does leave the MCU, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I just... I wonder how it's going to work. Um, but, yeah... I do just really like Tom Holland, but as I was kind of bringing up, if they ever, when the future, whenever they do um, make a new trilogy or new Spider-Man movies, I know we have Into the Spider-Verse with the Miles thing, but I would love to see them at least try and do a live-action Miles movie. Why not? I mean, it's, it's something new. I just don't want to see Uncle Ben dies and again. That's my main thing. I, that's one thing I'm glad the MCU skipped on, because it's such like a been there, done that thing. Diox 3? Isn't this the chemical Tombstone was exposed to as a kid? What's he doing with it now? Yeah! Let's go! Come on! I'm guessing that stuff's not for asthma. He kind of looks like a Koopa Troopa from the Super Mario Brothers movie. I also love in that cutscene because that guy got stuck in the Diox 3 canister. Uh, that he let's probably was basically talking to his crotch. It's pretty great. Could not do that again if I tried. But yeah, these guys are basically using the Tombstone. I call it the Tombstone drug. It's really Diox 3. Um, it's just not for asthma to get powers. It's kind of weird. Someone's got to teach these guys about the danger of peer pressure. I know, we really need to show them the uh, drug ad of this is your brain on drugs with the eggs cracking. I think that'd be a good one. Or the Pee Wee Herman one. They're both pretty funny. The Pee Wee Herman one's my favorite just because it's Pee Wee Herman talking about uh, drugs. It's hilarious. This is before he masturbated on a park bench, but yeah. Or what, I think he was on a park bench. I don't know. I'm talking about Pee Wee Herman masturbating in a Spider-Man video. I know, but... Why not? So, this is something... I don't know if I brought this up in the main game. It's such a good upgrade if you get it. Um, 
So let's say someone has a gun in this game and they shoot you. If you dodge them, the triangle punch will appear and you can press the triangle button, do a kick, and they're dead. It's easily one of the best uh, upgrades you can get in this game. I fully recommend it if you can get it, which you should get it because it makes it a lot more fun. Well, not fun, but easier. And I like for life to be easy at times. You know, playing a video game, I want to relax. It's kind of the thing. Bad feeling those drug inhalers in the Diox 3 are related. Should analyze an inhaler to find out what's going on here. Yeah, like you said, it's probably not for asthma. Um, yeah. I don't know why you would inhale drugs. To be fair, I don't know why you would do drugs to begin with. Stay in school. Drugs are bad. That's my life lesson for this video. Alright, what's in you? Smarties! <laughs> I, I know some... Well, I've... Even I have snorted a smarty or two in my life and that stuff burns your nose never do that kids who think that's funny and i mean it is funny to watch it happen because it burns your nose you know i enjoy to see people in pain that sounds creepy but i enjoy you know stuff like that because it is funny to watch but still don't do that smarties snorting them especially it hurts it hurts really bad Diox 3 plus designer amphetamines. Pretty clever recipe for temporary invulnerability. I'm impressed. And worried. This stuff hits the street and there'll be a huge market for it. With Tombstone as the sole supplier. Think I can synthesize a counter drug. Wonder if there are any lab supplies in that truck. Time for some artisanal science. There. Single dose of the counter drug. Just need to test it out. And that's basically the main bit. I had to do a cut there because I think it stopped recording for some reason. Uh, but now we're basically just going to go fight Tombstone, I think. Mark your calendars, folks, because I'm going to say something you thought you'd never hear. Spider-Man got it right. Does that mean I was wrong about it? Am I apologizing? Hell no. You see, I have it on good authority that he is a regular listener of this program. And now, it makes a lot of sense. He heard what I said. He internalized it. And he learned. Improved himself. And against all odds, he did the right thing. So, Spider-Man, you're welcome. However, don't think I'm going to go easy on Spider-Man from here on out. I'll be watching. Keeping him honest. Spider-Man, since I know you're listening, imagine my eyes on you everywhere you go. I mean, not like the shower. That would be weird. Or, 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 or the bathroom. Or, let's go to commercial. That's actually one of my favorite J. Jim Jameson podcasts. The angry drug lord drank alone. There's a poem in there somewhere. <laughs> you know better than me. Never was the literary type. How'd you even manage to connect with Martin Lee? I'm top of my game. I don't need to knock it. People find me now. I love that he just had a random mallet sitting next to him, but yeah, this is Tombstone. So, getting into Tombstone, real name, Lonnie Lincoln is a drug trafficker and leader of a biker gang. Um, Tombstone basically has superhuman strength and is resistant to a lot of physical harm. Um, he's capable of handling extreme temperatures, bullets, and gas. Uh, his teeth are also razor sharp, so imagine he's kind of like a human shark. Uh, even though I'm sure there's a Spider-Man shark villain. And he is, however, uh, quite sensitive to sunlight because he is albino. <laughs> Even though he's African-American, which is different. Last time we did this dance, you were made so okay. Hurts when it rains, but otherwise dandy. Sweet hat! Can't get encountered until I pick out Tombstone's gang. Yeah, like I mentioned, Tombstone is actually African American, and he's albino, which is why well, that's why his skin is so white. Well, that he got, um, he was around the uh, that 
drug the dark side three or one, I don't remember now, uh, and that basically altered his skin and his body, which is why he's super strange and strong and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, Tombstone made his debut in Web of Spider-Man issue 36. Uh, Tombstone's also made his appearance in some other, like, movies and shows. So, example, he made, uh, show-wise, he was in Spider-Man the Animated Series and Spectacular Spider-Man as we up earlier, and he made his film debut in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. In this game, he's also voiced by Corey Jones. Uh, related role of his, it's really the only one I could find, like, uh, that was, like, a, I guess, notice or a big role. Uh, he plays Black Panther in Avengers Assemble, that cartoon from a few years ago, back in like 2013, I think, which is six years ago, which is insane to me. But yeah, um, Tombstone for this boss, I recommend not getting hit. As obvious as that sounds, I should stress this, because Tombstone, as you saw there, hits really hard. He has that big mallet, obviously, of getting hit with a mallet would not feel good. But yeah, he's super strong. Um, take out his biker gang. That is the most crucial part of this. Um, the good thing about his biker gang being here, Tombstone being kind of... He's smart, but he's also stupid, uh, in a way. Because what he does is he's also hitting his biker gang uh, members in this fight. When he's doing this, he's hurting the gang, so he's also taking them out for you. So definitely recommend kind of luring him around the members of his gang, because it'll do a lot of damage to them and makes your fight so much easier. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Hey, you wouldn't want to take a break, would you? Oh, Lonnie, tired? Someone's been skipping cardio. He's wearing down. This is just me. Tombstone is a very threatening guy. Obviously, he can take a lot of damage and stuff, and it takes a lot to really hurt the dude. But he has the name Lonnie, and I'm sorry to any Lonnies watching this, but Lonnie is like the name of like a 40-year-old, a 40-year-old man sitting on his lawn drinking like some hot cocoa and getting mad at children for being on his lawn. That's what it reminds me of for some weird reason. Drug worked. Time to take him down. The hell was that you doing? Feel kind of funky. Oh, you know, articulated heat blocking agent. Hmm. Fire? A chain? A chain on fire? Marvel? Where have I seen this before? I don't know. I guess it's reminding me of a ghost from my past. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, this part I definitely recommend avoiding the fire chain. That sounds obvious again, I know, but still. My tongue's supposed to feel funny. Oh yeah, totally, hundred percent normal. I think. I want to find you doing good. Soup kitchen or something. Soon as soup pays, I'm in. I mean, you could find him in the soup aisle, or the soup store. A store for soup. That's a reference I think a few people will get. Um, so, main recommendation for this phase is, as I said, avoid the fire chain. I, the spider sense is your best friend for this fight. Use as much as you can. I can't stress it enough. And he's about to die, or be down. Can we say your crazy drug lord days are done? Please? Sure. For now. Hell of a run, though. <laughs> Not quite how I'd describe it. Oh! Oh. Oh. <sighs> That's new. Too much to hope you'll be taking it easier now that you're, uh, you know, mortal? <laughs> Not a chance. Threat of death? Just ups the thrill. Hell of a left hook. Can't wait for the rematch. I can. Hmm. <laughs> I like you. 
I want a tombstone to just say, you're pretty good. But yeah, uh, that's the tombstone mission. Join me next time in a much shorter part as we take on Screwball. I'm not looking forward to this one.